Hey guys, um, I hope you can hear me now. I'm, I'm doing another trial. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments below if you guys uh, can hear me so I'll know to continue and not just uh, talk to myself. So I'm waiting for a few people to come online. Hey, Tony, can you hear me? Let's see. I am waiting to see. I'll, I'll cut it later with the video. <laughs> but I'm waiting to see if uh, people can actually hear me. Oh, good. Okay, good. Okay, so I can close this one. Okay, so uh, I can start again. Um, thank you, everyone, for uh, joining. I'm hoping the, the the sound won't break down or anything right now. I'm not really sure what happened, but I restarted my computer. It seems like everything is working now. Um, so the reason why I'm making this video is for the um, the payroll protection program now has a flexibility act. Uh, hey, Paula, how are you? Uh, and Don, I'm I'm glad you guys can hear can can hear me now. Um, so the Flexibility Act was added. It's, it's like a change to the PPP, uh, which the main focus is uh, people had issues with spending 75% uh, towards payroll. So one of the things that they changed was instead of 75 towards payroll and 25 for expenses, they now made it that you can spend 60% and 40% towards utilities. This actually works better if you actually have an office or, or uh, and you haven't hired all of your employees back. But as for us, for um, self-employed, self I, I would assume most of us, um, one thing that was changed is instead of having to pay back the loan in case it's not forgiven from the two year period, it's now five years. So you have more time. Remember, this is a 1% loan that can be forgiven. And now instead of two years, you have a five year term to, to pay it. So that's great. Now, what's also important about the Flexibility Act, when we did, when I did the videos and everyone were was talking about the, uh, the PPP program, we knew that it covers eight weeks of payroll. Now, the, the Flexibility Act allows you to switch and move that eight weeks as you see fit. So let's say you received the funds May 1st. Um, you don't need to use them May 1st. Now, um, it, it needed to be started the, forgiven, the forgiveness program uh, by June 30th. Now it's actually been extended for 24 weeks. So you have plenty of time and you can decide that if you want to start paying yourself, you don't have to start June for, uh, May 1st. You can start June 1st. And what does it mean? It means that you can probably collect uh, PUA. You can still claim unemployment. We know that the PUA, hi, Fior. Uh, we know that the PUA is scheduled to end by July 31st. The PUA is the $600 that you're getting each week uh, as, uh, as unemployment from the government, federal unemployment. So technically right now you can go back and still claim it and say that you don't want to start your PPP payment um, on May 1st when you receive the funds or you know, or whenever you received it, you can push it another another month or even more. They're saying now 24 weeks. 24 weeks, it's uh, it's six months. Um, so you'll be able to push your uh, PPP payments and start paying yourself, let's say, August 1st. Uh, so until then, you can claim unemployment. So you can continue receiving more funds and I don't know if they are going to uh, put the HEROES Act and, and, and increase the length of the PUA. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, Catherine is saying she started her business 11-11-19th, LLC 1-5. That's no. I, for the business to, to qualify for PPP, you needed to have the business established before February of 2020. So that won't you, you you won't qualify for PPP, unfortunately. 
Uh, hey, Linda. So, rem so what I am saying, and I'm, remember everyone, I am travel professional like, like yourself. I'm not a CPA. I did speak with my CPA just to verify that what I'm saying makes sense and he agrees with me, but I would tell you to reach out to your CPA uh, and, and or maybe the bank that loaned you the money, give them a day or two to, cause it was just, it just passed uh, last, last night or this morning. Um, but it does mean the way that I see it, that if you have the flexibility to start your PPP later, you can go now to your unemployment and continue. I don't know if you stopped uh, uh, claiming unemployment or you um, you never started. You you can go ahead and do that and then have the PPP start later. Uh, just make sure again that you are um, that you are tracking all the money that you're paying. Uh, now, in addition to that, uh, what also changed is let's say you have 75 use 75 percent or 60 percent now can be used for payroll the other 25 or 40 percent needs to be used for uh utilities and business expenses instead of having eight weeks to pay these utilities and expenses they are giving us now 24 months so if you have monthly payments for internet phone and you didn't have enough to cover 25%, even 25%. Again, they increased it to 40, but even 25, um, let's say your internet is $100, your phone is another 50, 60. You didn't have enough to cover for eight weeks, but now you have 24 weeks, six months worth of utilities and expenses for your business can now be claimed under the forgiveness. Uh, so just remember um, remember now that's what you can do, but make sure you track everything. Uh, let's see. Judy says, uh, her, uh, owner applied and got a proof of PPP to cover payroll for eight weeks. Can he apply for more right now? No. So the, the, the amount is still, um, line 31 on your schedule C times, um, divided by 52 times eight. That's still the same. That's still that amount. Um, eight is for payroll and, and then a two and a half two and a half months worth of, you know, payroll and expenses. So that's still the same amount. You can't go right now and ask for more, um, but it does give you more time to spend it on expenses if you don't have uh, enough. Now, will they change it? Will they increase the amount? I, I don't know. It's, it's still, the PPP was changed four times already. Um, but, uh, this, this addition, this change that they just did gives you, um, you know, some of us had an issue where if you're self-employed and you paid yourself that 75%, you, the 25%, that's a few thousand dollars. I don't know if I have enough expenses in two months for, for two, three thousand dollars. Cause all I have is, you know, the home office of, of what I, you know, where, where I work. So that wasn't enough. Uh, so now they're giving you six months. So that's more money to be forgiven. And again, what I think it's crucial is the flexibility of the dates of the eight weeks. So you can start it later and now go and continue to claim unemployment and just start it a little bit later. Uh, Victoria says, can we still pay, uh, use PPP for eight weeks and they apply for well, yes, you, you can. You, you just can't have them together. You can't, you can have the PPP funds in your bank account. You received it. That's fine. But now you have the flexibility to decide what week you are paying and what week you're not paying. The fact that you have it in your bank account, in your business bank account, doesn't matter. Uh, it's when the week counts. And from what I am seeing, you can actually do four weeks stop for two, three weeks, and then go back again for four more weeks. It's still eight weeks, but you have the flexibility to decide which one. And for the weeks that you haven't, um, so what you can do technically, um, if, if you work that week, if you, if, you booked, if you book travel, someone called you right now and you're actually making the sale, make that week a PPP week. And the following week, you have nothing. You're, you're just canceling stuff. You're not booking anything. Yeah, you might be answering calls. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't consider that work. But if you haven't booked anything, that's that's an unemployment week. 
So you have the flexibility to, to decide and say the week of May 1st, PPP, the week of May 8th, uh, unemployment. Uh, and you can also... Let's try this one. Can you guys hear me now? Let's hopefully that you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me so I can continue. This is my backup camera now. Let me see, Paula, Christina, yeah, Tammy, now you can hear me. Okay, yeah, I'm, I, I'm still figuring out. It's, it's a new camera, new computer from, for some reason, I'm having some issues. Uh, let me see, so, Jocelyn, if they'll be extending the 600, if not, yeah, well, right now they're saying uh, PUA is valid until July 31st. I don't know if it'll continue or not. Uh, they are talking about extending it until January 31st. So it's, it's possible, but in case they don't, and even if they do, again, remember that flexibility option will give you the, because we, we always have a problem. Uh, we, we work, the office is open, but if no one calls, then you're not making any sales, you're unemployed. But if you, if someone does call and you, and you make money or you make the sale, whether you got the commission or you didn't get the commission, then it's considered a week that you worked in. Again, that flexibility I think will give you guys a lot of, uh, will give us um, a way to play with it and decide which week uh, you're paying or not. And, and if you uh, got your PPP on, let's say May 1st, I think I got it uh, around that week, or that's when I decide that I'm going to pay myself, I can now say, you know what, I'm not paying myself uh, May 1st, I'm paying myself June 1st, and I'll either pay myself back or, or, or something, or just track again the money, and go and claim now four more weeks of unemployment in PUA. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the thing. Um, if you do have employees, it will cover their salary uh, for up to 24 weeks, still the same amount of that of that eight weeks, but it gives you more time. It it creates if the whole reason why this was created is to allow employers more time to get their employees back, and even if they want to pay them a little bit less because they're working less, they can spread out the amount for 24 uh, 24 weeks. That's that was the whole reason why. Um, this was created. Um, so um, that's that's pretty much it. But I think I think it's huge. I mean, I, I do I do see the problem with combining uh, unemployment and uh, PPP together. Uh, so that uh, that is a great feature that you guys can utilize. If you have any questions regarding PPP, 
the forgiveness. Um, let me know. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing any um, questions more than what I saw before. If you do have some, let me know. Um, and then anyth anything about the uh, the flexibility that was changed. Again, we said five years instead of two years in case the uh, amount is not forgiven. Uh, 24 weeks for utilities instead of eight weeks of utilities. That gives you more time. That gives you more money uh, to, to pay. If, if, the, if you receive $10,000, $2,500 from it was supposed to be for utilities. If you don't have $2,500 worth of utilities in two months, you can't get it reimbursed. You can't get it forgiven. But now with 24 weeks, that's six months, you, you, might, you might have enough. Um, and again, well, 60% can go for payroll. I, I don't think it really matters for, for us in general. So again, I'm not seeing any questions, but that's, that's the ballpark of what has changed. Um, I, I, again, I think it's great with the, what you can do and combine. If you haven't made any money in the last, you know, couple of weeks, go and claim them now, even if you received PPP. And then just say that for that week, you're not um, using the PPP for it. Just make sure everything is tracked. So when it's time for forgiveness, um, you can verify uh, and, and make sure that you can you know, tell them which week you worked and which week you haven't. Uh, also, I would probably recommend you to reach out to your CPA or the bank that you received the loan from just to make sure um, that what I'm saying is correct. That's That was my understanding, and I verified it with my CPA, but I would probably recommend that you guys do the same uh, with yours. Um, Julie's asking, uh, do you suggest we pay utilities rent, self-payroll using a check? Can we use our own? Um, it doesn't really matter how you pay your... It's just a way for you to have a record for it. So yeah, you could pay yourself with a check. I made a transfer, like a, a wire transfer to uh, in terms of a payment. And for the actual uh, utilities, they, they only want to see the bill and that it was paid. I don't think they will actually want to see that amount paid from the specific uh, account. Um, you can use a credit card, you can use a debit card, you can, um, it doesn't show a deduction from your bank account. It doesn't really matter. They want to see the obligation. They want to see that it was paid. That's pretty much it. Can self-employees use 100% as payroll? You can, but not 100% will be forgiven. Only, um, only the qualified amount, only eight weeks worth of payroll. So you had the line 31 from your Schedule C. Let's say it was $100,000. That, that's the max. Um, calculate how much time uh, divided by 52. That's the amount per week times eight. That's the total amount that you can forgive. You get a forgiven if it's payroll. The rest will just not be forgiven and will be turned into a loan. Now, for the rest of the amount, if you have expenses, uh, utilities, uh, internet, phone, uh, stuff like that, then that's the amount that you need to add. But if you pay yourself more than the eight weeks worth of payroll, it just won't be forgiven. Uh, can you collect unemployment and then start using the PPP? Yeah, that's, that's, well, yeah, you just, you need eight weeks and now the eight weeks can go, uh, span in a span of six months. So you can decide that you are doing your uh, PPP this week and next week you're doing unemployment. Um, I would say for us specifically, since we are working on commissions and, and you don't know if you're selling or not, if that's, look on Friday. If you haven't sold anything on Friday, that's an unemployment week. If you reach the next Friday and you're having, if someone calls you at 5 p.m. on Friday, tell them you'll call them back on Monday make that week an unemployment week and the following week when you're actually selling, make it a PPP week. I hope I'm making sense to you guys, but that's, that seems like the best um, way to, to utilize that. Um, so the eight, eight weeks was changed yesterday and when the Senate approved the change in the law, it's 24 weeks. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I'm not sure what you're saying, but yeah, the eight weeks was, uh, the 24 weeks is now for expenses. 24 weeks can be also the time that you can pay your employees in terms of self-employed. It's still eight weeks and the 60% now it changed from 75% to 60% for the minimum amount, the minimum. Okay. It, it can be as min as, as low as 60%. It's not 60% of the amount or 60% from the payroll. The, the amount that you received, you can use 60% of the amount towards payroll. It was 75 up to 75. Now it's 60, a minimum of 60, and the 40% can go to expenses. The maximum, there is a maximum that you can get for payroll. As, as I said before, if you, if you did, um, if you had $50,000 as a loan, let me open up my calculator here. So if, if you receive $50,000, okay, that was $50,000 was the, um, amount in your line 31 uh, schedule C okay divided by 52 that's 962 dollars a week okay times eight the maximum amount that you can claim for payroll is seven thousand six hundred and ninety three dollars okay I evened it up that's the maximum amount it doesn't matter what the amount of the payroll that you risk the the amount of the loan, the PPP you received, that's the total amount you can pay yourself um, as payroll. Let me see. Um, uh, it's uh, Mark, you're really, it's long. The bill would extend eight weeks period. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much, it's pretty much what I said. Um, and now instead of two years, you have five years. Yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much what I've uh, what I've been saying. Uh, in Florida, we have to report when we get commission paid. Same thing, uh, Linda. Same thing. So w see if you got the money that week. If you haven't received money that week, money commission didn't come. That's an unemployment week. The following week, uh, when money came, do it a PPP week. Um, so much. Yeah. Again, it depends. I think it, it depends on the state. Some states say that, uh, money has to be received and some states money has to be like, if it's commission, you have to actually make the sale. So I would say, depending on your state, that's, that's how you'll go by. If, if the state considers commission received in your bank account as, um, uh, um, as a, a week that you worked, that's a PPP week. You can work and get PPP. If that week you haven't received funds or you haven't sold anything, that's an unemployment week. Um, Shannon uh, made a mistake on the application and said she has two people in the office, but she's self-employed. Should I return the money? I don't know when you received the funds, but you had until May 14th to return uh, without paying any, um, interest. Um, I, if depending on the amount and, and what your plans to do, what your plans are and when you receive them, probably reach out to the bank. You can probably pay the difference in the amount. Remember it's a 1% loan. It's not a high amount. I, I don't know how much you actually received, but, uh, and, and I'm, I think, the interest is deferred for the first six months anyway, so you're not paying interest on it. They might charge you $20, $30 as an admin fee or something. Reach out to your bank. If you think that you got too much, uh, pay it. Pay back the amount um, or close the loan or, you know, again, depending on what amount that you, you want to do. Um, yeah, so I, I hope I'm clear with the how much is can be forgiven. Uh, I hope you guys got it. If you need another example, I'll I'll, I'll gladly we'll, we'll do another one. But the sixty percent or the seventy five percent, the the if you received uh, a loan, 
if you receive the PPP for 50,000, 70,000, whatever, um, you still you can use 60 percent uh, minimum of 60 percent towards payroll. You can use more, but you can use more than eight weeks worth of payroll expense as self-employed based on your 2019 um, payroll. That's that that's 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 pretty much it. Um, Mark, again, you you wrote everything. I hope I'm, you know, I, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm making a mistake. I um, So just let me know if you think I am. I'll probably, I'll gladly correct it. Um, but I think what I'm saying is uh, accurate. Um, so that's, that's it. That's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, post them below. I'll try and read them and reply. Um, and again, as I said before, reach out to your CPA bank that you receive the funds just to double check, just to verify I'm, I'm not a CPA. Uh, only I did verify what I'm saying with my CPA just to make sure. But um, that's it. I'll see you guys in about two hours for our uh, host session uh, part two. <laughs> Bye, guys.